Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk, Giordano Plastering. I want to point out something. This is just uh, no instructions on this video. I'm just going to point out why stucco cracks sometimes because the owner said, Jen, damn, you know, the house is only 10 years old and we got a lot of cracks. Uh, why is that? Well, all these uh, vertical cracks going, say, a, on a window, they're actually quite common. Even if you put a weep screed there, you see the vertical crack. But these horizontal cracks, see this deep hor horizontal crack? Mid-wall is what I want to talk about. <clears throat> yeah, we got the typical cracks above the windows because of vibration. And by, like glass, if, if you vibrate glass, it'll shatter. If you, any movement with a stucco wall will cause a stucco wall to crack. So again, these, these cracks right here, mid-wall, what's causing that? Usually, the plywood will expand and shrink, and that'll cause this type of cracking that's going horizontal. And I could go on for a few hours about lathing, the proper way to lath the leg of the staple into the stud in order to hold the per, uh, pounds per square inch, but, but looking at this, I'm seeing a lot of this uh, horizontal cracking, and around the rest of the house, there's hardly any. And the reason we're doing this video right now is because it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Say at 3 to 4 o'clock this afternoon, the walls will expand and these won't even show up anymore. That's why I always tell people caulk early morning while the walls are cool. The sun's coming up now and we, these won't be able, we won't be able to see them later, but I was explaining to the homeowners, the contractor did a pretty nice job on this. Uh, he got his weep screeds, he did the scratching brown. Everything on the uh, other side, hardly any cracks except for windows and doors where, guys, we're always going to get cracks on uh, windows and doors because they open and they slam. People don't realize over 10 years how many thousands of times these windows and doors slam. But anyway, those are actually, well, 10 years, it's kind of normal. The only way to stop that is to fiber mesh a whole house and I've yet to met a person who said, Kirk, do that. What I wanted to point out though, southwest side, it gets all of the sun. So it gets beat up and it does expand and shrink. I, I bring this up because I get a lot of people who are emailing me walls like this and saying, hey, what did the contractor do wrong? It's not always the contractor or the plastering contractor. It could be the general contractor didn't space the wood or gap the wood. That wood expands and you get this uh, years later. Because when we apply our scratch and brown, generally we give it two weeks to cure. And in that time, the stucco will shrink, uh, hydrate out and, and flex, plus the weight of it will sometimes cause hairline crackings. But that's why you wait two weeks minimum before you put the color coat on. And usually most fellows like myself will put fiber mesh tape over the cracks that are caused because of the cure time. And they usually don't come back. But even work I do, sometimes they come back in different areas. You can never tell when a house is moving and flexing. And again, like glass, it shatters. Stucco will hairline crack. Anyway, for the folks who call me and ask me that mid-wall, it's a tough thing to try to find out, but usually that uh, plywood is expanding too. So I wanted to point that out. Anyway, my name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. As usual, we thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.